786 fans. Drivers, race teams, and race fans. Ye call me chief, and ye do well to call him chief, who for many long years has met upon the arena every shape of man or beast the broad empire could furnish, and who never yet lowered his arm. If there be one among you who can say that ever my actions did belie my tongue, let him stand forth and say it. If there be three in all your company, dare face me on the bloody sands. Let them come on. If ye are beast, then stand here like fat oxen waiting for the butcher's knife. If ye are men, follow me. Oh, comrades, if we must fight, let us fight for ourselves. If we must die, let it be under the clear sky. Head to Florida. Well, TNN's Motor Madness is no different. The Florida Free For All is up next on this Friday night's Madness. Oh, we got a good crowd on hand here at Orlando Speed World as we get set to go at it once again, this time with Demolition Derby. Hi, everybody. I'm Ralph Shaheen along with the dream, Dusty Rhodes, and we're set to go again, Dusty, this time with Demo Derbies, and we've got some twists and turns up our sleeve. We've got two arenas here tonight. That's going to make things really crazy. I'm going to tell you what. Madness is on the air, and Ralph Shaheen, Masterini. Well, we've definitely added a new twist to traditional Destruction Derby tonight. The format is this. It'll consist of four quick-draw qualifying rounds with three shootouts per round. That's 12 shootouts in all, three-minute confrontations with five cars with two winning cars going to a 24-car final. Now, as you can see, we have two arenas here tonight, and that's to keep the action flowing throughout the show. Now, I'm standing on what is affectionately known as Ground Zero tonight. When the green flag drops, these five cars are going to come at each other, hell-bent for election. Let me tell you something. I don't want to be here in a few minutes. For more on this, let's go to Dave. You know, it used to be, Dan, that you had to have the biggest, the baddest, the heaviest car to win in Demolition Derby. But tonight, with the new rules that you just talked about in the new arena, it might just be that Mark Canada and guys like him who brought a smaller car might have a chance tonight. Mark is driving a 1978 Chrysler Cordoba, no Corinthian leather, and he's going to try to drive this 3,500-pound car against some that are over 5,000 pounds. But since he only has to go three minutes, he has to get in and out quick with lots of aggressive hits. A guy in a lighter car might just have a chance tonight. I like this format, Dream. I think this is the way to go. You are guaranteed that initially, right off the bat, you're going to have one heck of a smash-up. What do you think? Is this the way to go tonight? Well, I tell you what, Ralph Sheen, it's excitement galore. You know, these guys are gladiators. These guys step into the arena tonight as gladiators, as athletes. This is not no Pika Tetskadile or the Malacca Brothers. This is the real deal. And believe me, fans, make no mistake about it. When it's all said and done, there'll be one man standing. And Madness, the new format, is on the air. Believe me, don't you dare leave your seat because Madness is going to set your butt on Friday night. Round number two of Demo Derby action on TNN's Motor Madness. Now, we've been at this new format of Madness for a couple of weeks now, guys, and we've seen some really bizarre things. I know you and I have. To our racetrack where we've got five cars getting set to go at it in our first demo derby of the night. Michael Abb's going to go up and John Gertstein here in the first shootout of the night. Number eight, Gordon Hall, and number 14, Vic Whaley. Vic Whaley's a metal fabricator out of Colterville, Illinois. And Jeff Colt will be the last of the five cars in this first shootout. Now, they're quick draw qualifiers is a new official term, and then there are shootouts inside of the quick draw qualifier. I'm anxious to see what kind of explosion we're going to have here at ground zero. Now, there's the green. Here we come, banging in the middle of the target. Oh, man. The one car is Jeff Colton. That's that big gray station wagon with the yellow numbers on it. 
And you know what, Dante? I seen him earlier, and I'm talking about Jeff Gump. He had a big old car, and he said, I'm going to move some people around at, at ground point zero. And right now, he's uh, he's doing a good job. He is. You know, that he's uh, carrying that balloon. That balloon is uh, for Jane Hart, who's the pr uh, promoter's wife. Uh, she's uh, in the hospital right now, but she's getting better. Well, bless her heart. Oh, oh there, there we go. There's the there game. we go. Big Whaley, the 97 of Florida Free For All champion, getting a good whack in there with that black and green number 14. We had a good shot of Vic Whaley there carrying our in-car camera. He tagged Gordon Hall Sr. in the eight-car. Oh, Jeff kind of moved back there out of the way. Right here, he's getting a run at it now. Whoa, watch out here, in-car camera. Ooh. Oh, Whaley, he's turned the car upside down in the demo derby. That's pretty hard to do, Dream. Get upside I, down in the demo car. I'm going to tell you what, you can expect anything right here now. I guarantee you one thing. This new format already has brought madness and excitement. Look at number one fit. Get out of my way. Move over. The big dog cut. Now, you'll notice the clock running in our left corner. This is a timed event. Halfway over now. Watch this. Well, he's doing a heck of a job out there. Dante, what? Oh, great oh, shot. Great that was shot. A good oh. lick. Is that Vic? Is that Vic? That Vic Whaley. I was out there with Vic, man. Vic is crazy. Vic. Trying to get me to kiss his wife. The metal fabricator out of Illinois. He'd have to be crazy just to talk to you, Dream. I'm looking at this. Here comes number four. That's oh. Michael Christopher. Barrow Beach, Florida. He's a stuntman, treasure hunter, and a carpenter. That's Number eight is Gordon Hall Sr. from Callahan, Florida. He's a truck mechanic. That's quite a combination. It's that is quite, a, quite a, a combination. Treasure hunter. Boy, look at that mess out oh. there now. Yes, sir. Number 14 and number four, Gordon, uh, oh, Michael man. Christopher and Vic Whaley just nailed each other. That snapped his head. Look at this. They're stuck together. They, they are. are. Where's old number one out? Where's old Jeff at? He's a hide no Number one, Jeff Gulf. Uh, the, four, the driver of the four car waving his hand, Christopher Abbs, Michael Christopher. While he got away there, oh, he's yeah. still running good, but I'll tell you what, that number four, Michael Christopher, it looks like his radiator's gone. I don't think he's going to be moving much now. Oh, 19 man. seconds, oh, almost that clock. There's old Jeff. There's old Jeff right there. I think that's going to be a big hit coming up here. I, I like this format, guys. I like it a lot. Remember, two cars transfer on to the main event tonight. Five seconds to go. Count it down at home. Here you go. Two, one. And there's and that's the it. Horn. Our first shootout. Man, what a Woo. great shootout. And the crowd here in Orlando loving it as well. Now it's up to the man in the middle there. Our demolition determinator, Dutch, will decide who goes on. Here's a look at the replays of what happened here. And that initial hit, Dan, did exactly what we wanted it to do. Brought it, them all to the bullseye. It did. It brought them all. And uh, it, it, it eliminates the guys that play hide-and-go-seek. You can see here the number four car, Michael Christopher, number eight. Here's number 14, Vic, Vic Whaley, Jr., our uh, in-car camera. That's the collision I was talking about that blew Michael Christopher's uh, radiator there. They get hung up here, and it, uh, it was all over for number four. But number 14, Vic Whaley, I think, did a great job that time. It's going to be hard for Dutch, I think, not to take him on. Wouldn't you agree? No, I'd, I'd have to. I'd have to agree with that. I think he's definitely going to be the winner. Well, All let's right. go down to Dave Burns, who's talked to our uh, demolition determinator. That's right, and as usual, Dutch Holland has been working hard, and tonight it's a little bit easier because of the smaller area, but they have determined, little doubt, Vic Whaley Jr. and Michael Christopher Apt have moved on to the finals, but the four-car of Apt, guys, that got hit so hard, I don't know if he'll be able to make it. That's wow. true. That car was uh, damaged pretty good there. It looked like he blew his radiator. I'm, uh, I'm going to be uh, surprised if he can make it back for the 24-car final. And that can be a real problem. You can go so hard, Dream, that you knock yourself silly and can't come back to compete for the main. Yeah, but I like it, too. That's what Madness is all about, and it's right here on us. Ah, uh, well, if you like that, stay right where you are, because here comes shootout number two in arena number two. Ian Robertson, car number 10. Uh, 11 is Scott Lawland. I'm sorry, Lawhead from Cocoa, Florida. There's three other cars in this one, including Sean Beneshek in the 69 and Kevin Huggins in the 84. And Dream, the fifth car coming your way. Yeah, I guarantee you. Right here it is. Billy Black, number 88, is getting ready to get down and fuck it like a monkey out here in Florida. This fresh air. 
from it's Rockledge. Really, you know, it's, what is it, Dante? He's from Rockledge, Florida. He's a mechanic here. I think he, a mechanic is moves. necessary to be in this sport. He, he moves, you know what I mean? He was he was from Blanton, and he moved over to Rockledge. I got one question. How funky is a monkey? It's funky, brother. Funky. funky. It's very, very funky. Okay. Okay. Watch the center of the circle. Here, here we they go. go. Three Ground zero. Here it comes. Oh, a couple cars a little bashful there. Yeah. The Lincoln didn't want to get in the No, mix. he sure didn't. You're driving a Lincoln. you got to get in the mix. I'm going to tell you what, you know, Dave made a point about the smaller cars, but Dante, I really see the big cars pushing people around here now. The big cars usually have a better advantage, Dream. They uh, they carry a little bit more weight. They have a little bit of uh, impact on them. Ian Robertson's a tire store manager, oh. and he know where he got his. Oh, look at this. That wagon's up on the back end of the 88 car of Billy Blanton. 84 there, Kevin Huggins from Coulterville, Illinois, salvage yard manager. He's uh, oh, oh, he's a good hit. Car number 88, Billy Blanton. Now, downside, one of the things I'm wondering about here is these guys have got dirt and they've yeah, got asphalt yeah. down there. How yeah, that, that can affect things. It makes a lot of difference on the traction. Uh, you know, they get down, they get hooked up on that asphalt after spinning in the grass, and then all of a sudden the car will lurch, yeah. and uh, it uh, creates a little problem driving down there. Hey, I'm going to tell you what, man. I got a dead one out here, number 88 Billy Blanton. Yeah. Might be pulling back home. He ain't a moving, but 84 the moving. You know, number 10 run all the way off the asphalt and come back on the dirt. I mean, back at the point of impact. Boy, it's just exciting. There's some good hit going hey, on out here. Hey, Kevin hey. Huggin out of Illinois. He's lining somebody up, the salvage yard manager. And they ain't nobody even hit him. They ain't nobody even hit him. He's got a second place right here in Orlando. Whoa, oh, up there's and over the back end. Number 10 and number 69, Sean Beneshek. New Smyrna Beach, Florida. He's a parts man. He's going to use up some parts tonight, guys. His first time on TNN. 80, 84, Kevin Huggins just got nailed. Yeah, he was a dancing around got out nailed. there. He was really moving and staying out of trouble. He run into it. Now he's going to get him just a little bit of it. Going to jump in the middle of it. Well, as you can see, we got less than a minute to go. So if you're going to do something, you got to make it happen now if you want to oh. go off. Another good shot by Kevin Huggins on number 69, Sean Beneshek. 84 car doing a great job here, Huggins, Real really. Salvage car yard manager's doing pretty good out there. Yeah, I'm going to tell you what, he's lit him up right here tonight. He okay. ain't through. He's going to go back and get another one here. He's got 33 seconds to go ahead and put some pain, blues, and agony out there. I think he's put them all down, hasn't he? I think he's 25 got 25 seconds to go up. here, 25 seconds. 84, 84, 84. Kevin Huggins, Goldenville, Florida, Salvage Yard Manager. He's, he's showing these guys out of Derby tonight. This guy is just, I'll tell you what, I'm I think it's sure. the White Walls. Yeah, I was going to say it's either the White Walls or the Orange Center on these tires that's making the difference because he's smoking them up pretty good. Well, yeah. it's a known fact. White Walls get better traction. Yeah, but you let, know me, that? Yeah. let me tell you something, guys. They're not regular White Walls. He was out that's there. It? He was out there painting them before we went on the air. He painted them white. I like they it. Painted I like them White Walls. Oh, well, Kevin Huggins. I think without a doubt, Kevin Huggins is definitely going to the final. As we he said earlier, he, salvage yard manager. The, you know, the, the gold helmet looks pretty good, too, to go with yours. Now, here was the initial hit. He kind of backed into that one yeah, softly, they, but they he got soft going They soft-pedaled into that a little bit. They didn't really get aggressive like the first bunch. Boy, look at here, too. Drive him right out Ooh, there. On number 69, the, on the that's John Beneshek. He was he was doing some hitting out there. I'd, I'd have to say the winners. I don't know. I, I got to go with Kevin Huggins or Sean Beneshek. We'll have to wait and see on that, guys. We'll be back in a few minutes after these words. Country from race cars to country stars. Connect to country.com. And we're back to the Orlando Speed World. Now we've gone through two of our new formats. For the demo derbies, what'd you guys think? I like it. I like it a lot. It's fast paced, a lot of action. There's no uh, messing around out there. You can't run and hide out there at all. Not at all. What'd you think, Dream? No, I'm going to tell you what, it was so much more of an impact than we've <laughs> seen in Winston Salem. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah. I like when they get a running start and they throw it all out there. It's just like when Dan used to roll out and get a running start and throw that pass. I knew what was going on. Dave Cassidy be catching that ball running. Same thing going on here. High impact motor madness is here and i guarantee you one thing that i really am surprised dave burns gave us his little car deal little car's gonna look good tonight the little cars are getting their butt whipped you know what I mean? <laughs> the big cars dave burns are beating them bad 
<laughs> yeah. Yeah, Dream, I have to say uh, that might have been a bad call, but Vic Whaley did not make a bad call tonight. Remember, he won here last year, and Vic, you've got the same thing going for yourself tonight, but what about the new format? Can you take it home in tonight's format? I don't know. There's some good cars out there. I'd like to try. I'd like to try it for the fans and all the people back home watching me. I'm going to try to win. Okay, well now, Vic Whaley, remember, won in the first heat. It was also a transfer. That was uh, Michael Christopher Apt. We'll see if he can get his car fixed. But Kevin Huggins won the last one, and Kevin, we're thinking maybe it was the white walls. Any secret there? No. Nah. The kids wanted to paint them white, so we painted them white. Your kids uh, painted the tires, is that right? No, we, we painted them, but that's what they wanted them. Oh, you call your crew the kids? Yeah. All right. Little family action going down here, guys. That is your winner uh, from heat number two. Along with, it was also the 69 car of Sean Beneshek, who will transfer with Kevin Huggins. All right, Dave, thanks. I don't think any surprises there. Well, if White Walls are the speed secret, does Earnhardt show up at Daytona in two weeks with White Walls? I'm going to tell you what, somebody better buy a can of white paint and run out there and get ready just in case. All right, let's go to shootout number three. Robin Meese, the first female here in the field tonight, and James Herb in the 32. Number 38. Stan Canada, number 74, Doug Pinion. Doug Pinion is a uh, from Zena, Ohio. And a brother named Rack. And Scott McNamee, number 83, from Holbrook, New York, cable TV contractor. I think that's probably the dumbest joke I've ever said, but I had to go with it. What was it? <laughs> Rack in. He's got a brother, Rack in. Okay, Here's the there's number 23, guard. Robin Neese. She's uh, we're going to feature her later on in the show. She's a school bus driver here in Longwood, Florida. This is her first derby. Yeah. Let's talk a little bit about her. It's a friendly, familiar sight all across the nation. A school bus picks up happy kids on the corner. These lucky children get to ride with Robin Neese, a dedicated lady who attacks her driving responsibility with gusto. I love my job, but boy, those kids can get you after a while. I think driving the demolition is, is no different than driving regular students on the school bus. I put up with the frustration, I put up with the traffic, I have to watch what I do on the road, and I'm pretty sure this is just like driving a regular school bus. Maybe easier. <laughs> I'll tell you what, I wouldn't have wanted her for a school bus driver when I was no. a kid. No, I don't think so. Well, we got the clock ready to go. It's queued up. We got our five cars lined up, ready to go. And a bullseye painted in the center. There's the horn. Here We're we go. And demoing. Well, that's one I'm not moving right here. Whoa. That's our school bus driver. It took a while to get going there. Here she goes. Hey, that might not have been such a bad idea. Let the initial heavy impact get out and over with. I'm gonna tell you what, now she's gotta go ahead and do it. She she's kinda got get... she kinda got T-bone down just a little bit. She's gotta get cranked up now. Come on, girlfriend, crank it up. Don't be bashful. On town, Longwood, Florida, all my Florida boys down here. And girls, she's in the middle of a mess, I'm saying. She is. Car number 32 right there is James Herb, Orlando, Florida, Vice President of Recycling Yard. That looks like my mama's car. Got one just like that to the maroon. <laughs> and it drives like my mama, too. The I'm telling you. The oh, my, Stan what a hit by the 38. Stan works in a car crushing yard. He's at the practice of destroying machines. He sure does. He put the hit on Scott oh, McAfee there. Car 74. He, Stan, he Duck parked Pinion. that thing right in the back of the Oh, oh man. What's some good hitting going on out Boy, there? Boy, that is plunder laying everywhere in public out here. There you go. That 32 is getting ragged. I love this five-car format. We are seeing some great hitting going on out here. I'll tell you what, that car 74, Doug Pinion from Zeno, Ohio, looks like he's been through a couple derbies with that car already this year. I'll tell you what, that big blue wagon out there, it doesn't have much of a body left. That's nothing but green. Herb over the Ooh, number 32 right is over, over and out. That's James Herb, Orlando, Florida. I tell you what, Scott's doing a good job out there too. Number 83. 83 and 74 are looking like they're they're trying to get at each other, but here they go. Oh. 38 car Canada is done. He's out of it. Yeah. Hunt him up, baby. Hunt him up. 
Watch him now. He loved to come right back on him. Dante, he loved. Whoa. Oh. Well, it is obvious here tonight, gentlemen. You've got to be very aggressive if you want to get onto the final. Wow. I think these guys saw that out of the first two shootouts, and they're really laying some wood out there tonight. I'm going to tell you what, 83 not going to get a run at him. Back up and nail it. Oh. Missed. Yeah. Missed. It's called a brick in basketball, isn't it? Absolutely. That's exactly what it was. Oh, that was a good one. He's hooked it. We yeah. got a little fire underneath That's a, that one. A little header fire. Fire in the hole, brother. They got a lip lock on each other there. Just broke it off. Big Mac. Mary. Big Mac ready to lay a big smack here in a second. He's trying to get a downhill run at him. 20 hey. seconds, 19 seconds uh -oh. to go here. 83 got to keep it moving, and I guarantee you, 74 still trying hard. Our lady school bus come. driver Ten is seconds. smoking. She's done. Yeah. Robin Neese, uh, unfortunately, her first derby didn't turn out the way she wanted it to, but she gave it a valiant effort, I guess. She'll be back right here. There we go. There we go. 74, 83, no doubt. I would say you're probably right 83, on that one, the Jim. cable TV contractor, Scott McNamee from Holbrook, New York. He traveled a long way for this event. Doug Pinion from Zeno, Ohio. Both of those guys travel a long way. Doug's a truck driver. Let's take a look at this one from the beginning. It got off to a smashing start. There it is, number 32. That's James Herb. Hitting uh, Doug Pinion there. Watch this. He just that's parks a, this one right in the back of the way. That's a 38 car stand Canada. Here they get hooked. Yeah, he they just stay hooked. He just drives them. Unbelievable the hitting we're seeing. Fire in the hole, boys. Well, we'll be back with more. Morning on TNN, it's NASCAR Garage. Check out the technical side of racing with a behind-the-scenes look at the people and the cars of NASCAR. Tune in Sunday at 9 a.m. Eastern for NASCAR Garage right here on TNN Motorsports. Let's go down to Dave Burns. Ralph, that certainly was a great shootout, and I agree with everyone upstairs. This format is working extremely well. Now, you saw the blue station wagon, the 74 of Doug Pinion. He is one of the winners, and also, it ended up being uh, Scott McNamee, the 83 car. That was pretty obvious. Doug Pinion, he's going to get that car back here. And by the way, they call him Peanut. Why is that? Not because he's a small guy, but because he loves peanuts. Eats them all the time. His wife, Lisa, can't keep them in stock around the house. And he has his favorite brand, buddy. If they're not Kroger, he doesn't want them. Yeah. Well, it's been pretty interesting so far with these different uh, yeast. I really like the action. And I, I'm not really surprised by the guys that have transferred. You should take a look at them here. Vic Whaley and Kevin Huggins, those guys are all very strong. And Doug Pinion, I think, gentlemen, definitely earned his way into this. Yeah, he, he definitely uh, made a good showing there in that first, the first part. So what do you think, Dream? Do you like these guys so far? You know, I, yeah, and I like the format. And, and, and I'm going to go, you know, with Dante, what he said. Doug Pinion, to me, really went at it aggressively. And I think that's what needs to be done in the new format. And he went out there and went ahead and, and wasted everybody. The first heat was real good. But I, I really want to look to him maybe to get on into the finals maybe. Really look good to me. The key now, I would think, Dante, is going to be who can get their car ready. For the main. That's true. I mean, with this new format, they're doing a lot of banging out there in the in the short time that they're they're in the in the derby, and a lot of damage is being done to the cars. So they're they're going to have a lot of work in the pits. So now we're planning on having 24 cars for the main event. Now, you saw the racetrack, and you, you saw the dividing line there of tires. That will be taken out, so they'll have the whole area of both those arenas. Dream. It's going to be wild when we get all 24 cars out there slamming at each other in the main event. That's to come up later on. we got a lot of things for you in store tonight in the Orlando Speed World as Motor Madness rolls on from Florida. Three of our shootouts. Now let's take a look at some of the highlights here. The 84 and the 10 car getting the carrier. The 69 car hitting the 10. Sean Benezek. 69, but boy, he was all over that 10 car, wasn't he? Ian Robertson had a tough, uh, tough round that time. A 38 car, he had a pretty good night as well, getting into the 74 car. 74 is Doug Pinion again. High impact, guys. Yes, high he impact. is. High impact. Drive Truck driver. They know, how to, they know how to do that. Well, you know, one of the things that uh, is going on here, of course, you get a lot of people in the grandstand stream, a lot of people that think they look like you. Now, these are celebrity lookalikes. 95. 
Oh, well, man. I'll tell you what, I wonder if that, if that gator there knows where Katie House is. I guarantee you after just what we've seen. Well, that was just sick. Yeah, it really was. I, I don't understand that. No. And I'm not, I, I just don't. I don't need to go when they come from the junkyard or wherever they get them. Let me show you a few of the modifications modifications that they'll make. The bumpers are actually compressed to their five mile per hour zone there and then welded to the frame makes them extremely hard for hitting and then also they don't fly off and uh, get underneath the cars and break things. They will also round off the corners on the body make sure that they don't puncture the tires. You'll see that on either side of the wheel wells. As you work your way back one of the most important things they'll do is to get back to the back frame and weld the body onto the frame back under here. That frame is the pushing force. They want to keep the body locked onto it to make it as heavy a hammer as they can. And one other thing, with the tires, they'll do one of two things. They'll actually put a tube inside of the tires. They don't run tubes on your passenger car anymore. They will. So if you get a flat, the tube will actually push it back out and save it. The other thing they'll do is they'll screw the wheel, the tire, to the wheel. Does the same thing. If you get a flat tire, it'll stay on there. That's what these guys will do if they want to make a winning demo derby car here on Motor Madness. It's not as simple as just taking your car and slamming it into another guy and, and seeing who stands last. There are a lot of tricks to the trade to stay into the hunt into the final. Let's check in once again with Pamela. But you missed some wild action in a long plane ride. We've got another Monster Mash on tap next Friday night from the RCA Dome in Indianapolis. Shorter plane ride dream. Check it out at 8 p.m. Eastern, 5 Pacific on TNN's Motor Madness. That was a brutal plane ride, wasn't it? All right, here we go. We've got shootout number four coming your way. Dick Denoncourt in the 12 and Johnny E. Lee in the 13. Number 28, Mark Canada. Number 29, John Jones, both of Palm Bay, Florida. Yours, Dream? Yeah, this is Tammy Stevens. I'm going to tell you what, guys. I'm going to take 40 to win this thing right here. Nobody would blame you, Dream. We're going on board with her, and there's a reason why you should take her. Yes. Isn't there, Dan? Yes, there is. We had an interesting conversation with Tammy today, and here we go. Now, this is literally the rear-end view, folks. When you see the wide shot of her car, you'll know what I mean. It's a little extra padding on the back side right, of this here one. she comes. Whoa! Pretty good hit there. She does have her cones on the front of the car. She does. Well, yes. look, on the top, look on the top of that car over there. What is that? Is that a human being? That's, is that a human being? Johnny, that's he's crazy. Lee. He's got a passenger dream. Look on the top of that car. That ain't a real. That... Man, I'll tell you what. You got to get up off of early in the morning and drink something besides orange juice to be up there. I wonder if that's Steve Evans. Yeah. Could it be? <laughs> Our long-lost uh, buddy. There's a line there, Evans. I won't use it, I promise. Well, I see number 40 here. Tammy's still in it real good. Tammy's got a little extra padding on the back of her car. It's, uh, she had a different number that Don well, yeah, she, she? she did, and we, we talked to her about that. Her number used to be 34D, so... Exactly! We <laughs> we understand why, but we can't go wow. out. There's the rear end view I was There's talking about. There's the rear end view with the extra padding. I'm going to tell you what, she's just tearing them up out there. Go, girl! Let me tell you something. Tammy's a uh, owner-operator of AB Line Towing here in Cocoa, Florida. She is the only owner-driver of a tow truck in all of Brevard County. Yeah, she's got, yeah, she was stuck over here. She just got help there, Johnny E. Lee. Yeah, and that guy Johnny E. Lee's got on the top, ain't moving a muscle. He looks like a Johnny E. Lee, doesn't he? Well, I'll tell you what, Tammy needs to back up here and rear end him. He, she needs to back her rear end, right? Oh, watch out, darling! Who is that? Somebody give me a hammer. You might have Number to just 12. turn him out there, Dick Green. Dick the insulation expert. Yeah, oh, she, oh, she got another good, he's, yeah, he's she's coming been, alive out there. Yeah, she's still running. They all running real good right here. This one's going to be tough to call. As you can this. see, we got just about a minute to go. A little over a minute. Number 12, that's Dick Denoker. Royal Palm Beach, Florida. He's an uh, insulation specialist, so he's... Uh, he's got a big old car there, too. Yeah, he does. He's got, it looks like he's got a big old, uh, what is that, an Oldsmobile? He's lost her cones, he's by the way. got 40 demolition trophies to his credit, so he's wow. an experienced driver out there. Yeah, here you go, too. He's trying to get that Dunkin' Donut thing out the way. Look at Tammy now, backing up. That's Tammy seeing from the inside. She's we're looking for somebody to hit. Yeah, we're getting a rear end view from Tammy right here. 30 seconds to go. There's a good hit. 
Come on, Tammy, hit somebody, darling. Where are you? Number 28, the Dunkin' Donuts. Oh, Mark Canada. She just got smacked. He did. Oh, yeah, and he got. Yeah, hit him again for me. Hit him for me. Number 28, Mark Canada hit uh, Dick Denoker and, and seemed to do more damage to his own car there. He blew his uh, radiator, as you can see the steam coming out. Oh, there. Oh, he got oh. rear-ended again did by he, number yeah. 12. I'm gonna tell you what. Three seconds two. There's the flag. Wow. That's oh, it. Oh man, I'll tell you what. Tammy might have just missed it. She was right in this till the very end, and there were three cars really running strong at the end there, Dream. I'm not sure if she's gonna make it or not. Yeah, I, you know what? She, yeah, she hung in there real good. Dante, I tell you what, she was back over there on the back side. And there were people coming from everywhere. There's a dead man laying up on the roof of one car. Cones are flying everywhere. Oh, man, this is madness. This is motor madness right here. Look at her. Look at the rear end view. They saw that. Tammy was really active in this thing. She was active. You know, that she hasn't done that many uh, destruction derbies. I think this is her third or fourth one. But she's she was real excited about talking about it today in the pits. We oh. need to get, we need, hey, Dante, we need to strap old Dave Burns up on top of one of them cars one time. Yeah, I think Dave would like that. He'd have a good time doing that. Let's well, go down Dave, today. what do you think? Uh, no, <laughs> I don't think so. Dutch Holland, the demolition determinator, it was one of the closest so far, and I'm going to tell you in a minute who won, but Dutch, how do you like the new format so far? We're loving it. Well, it's a little different, a lot of action. They got a little more room to work. Bless your car. You don't have to worry about hitting 20. You just have to worry about hitting the other four. That's about right. Now, Dutch has been doing this a lot of years, but we threw something new at him tonight, and he's having a fun time as we are. The winners, guys, the 12 of Dick Deneker and the 28 of Mark Canada. What did I tell you? Light cars, dream, light cars. I find that kind of interesting. I thought old Johnny Lee had a shot at this one. I did, I did too. Yeah, I thought Johnny Lee did a good job there. And unfortunately, we missed out on Tammy, so let's just move on to the next one. We got two more cars coming your way out of this one. Rod Brasher and Zane Baird both going to try for it. Number 39, L.D. Rostetter. 53, Charlie Pope. Dream? Yeah, yeah, we're winding up here with Mark D. Wayne, number 80. We're getting ready to go to Madness right here. No other place you can't find it nowhere but DNS Motor Madness. What I like is how you go right from one shootout right into the next one. No waiting. More Point crash it. for your cash. One in Definitely. They're getting a little bit bashful about hitting ground zero, though. Yeah, they see he moving away from it. Yeah, they are really not going at that target as hard here in these uh, later. Uh, yeah, but once they shootout. start, once they start going, they uh, they get after pretty good. That's number number 80, Mark Dwayne from Holiday, Florida. He's a watch repairman. He's a what? He's a watch repairman. Well, you know, I guess he spent so much time looking close. He's got to open his eyes up a little bit here. Well, they, yeah, they're all bundled up right here. Now, it looks like a cubby of quail. We need to go ahead and send the dog in there and get him loose from this mess. There you go. Yeah, number 80 is a little Kenneth. Kenneth Lively. That's a roadism that means Kenneth yeah, number, number 20, Rod Brasher from Mount Plymouth, Florida. He's into trucking. Number 39 there is L.D. Rossetter from Astatula, Florida. How do you pronounce yeah, that? Yeah, you hit it. Astatula? He's a Astatula. construction supervisor. He's won a motorcycle demolition derby before. Has he? I, mean, I don't think I'd want to get involved with motorcycle demolition derby. No. They're bumping and grinding now, guys. Yeah. He's got a little problem there. He's hung up in the tires. Yeah. Number, number 80, Mark DeWayne's going to take advantage of him. The watch repair oh, going after him. There you go. You're getting ready to get somebody, Zane. Oh! oh. Zane Baird nailed him. Nailed number 39, L.D. Ross. Yeah, he's not through either, man. No, I'm he's after it. I like old Zane now. Swinging the rear end oh, pretty he, good. He looks like one of them Texas bulls out there just uh, in the pen just waiting for somebody to give him some trouble. Look at Zane. The zipper head, they call him. Is that zipper head? Well, there's a nickname for you. He's got some nice exhaust. Look at those chrome exhausts coming out of his hood there. Uh-oh. Going to chase him. Cat and mouse. Here we He's go. He's got 30 wins, does Zane uh, Yeah, don't kiss him. Hit him. One minute left. Under a minute to go now. And it seems like this deep two are still going. Well, Zane is a man who knows what he wants. He uh, he wrote down on his information sheet for us that he's a bachelor looking for a beautiful lady here in Florida, Dream. Well, I'll tell you what, he get a victory here tonight. Got a little more money in his pocket. He might, might be the there. Place. We might have to hook him up with Tammy over there. You know? <laughs> a couple of demos together, stay together. There you go. Oh, here you go. Nice move. Wow. Oh, good. 
good yeah. shot there right in the rear. Boy, look at these guys. Look at look. this. He's hitting it with everything. The front, the side, the rear. It's flames coming out all the time. I like that. Dusty, you fired these guys up to free game. Oh, oh the gladiators. The gladiators are right. Free game. Free game talk. Got them right. I can't see it. In the arena, new full man. Go to Madness and going crazy like everybody said it would. What game? Ten seconds to go. Zane Bear just driving him into the dirt. Hit him with the quarter panel. There you go. Boy, I like cracker heads. What's his name? Zipperhead. Oh. Well, Zipperhead did a pretty good yeah, job. Yeah, he did. I want to tell you what. Sturgis, my man. Kentucky, Derby car builder. He built a good one. Yes, he did. Now watch him go to work here. There's That's Mark, Mark Dwayne. Dwayne. And here comes Zipperhead. There he is, Zane. Good job, good yeah. job. He was really cutting it up out there, too. Nice there was, hit. There was some good banging going on out there. A couple of those hard-hitting cars took themselves out early. Zane Baird laying a lick on there. He yeah. was swinging that rear end around. Yeah, look at him. He looks I like mean, he was good tracking out there. Yeah. Look at that little side swipe. Now that's a guy that knows how to demo. He knows how to use all yeah, the sides of the car. There yeah. you go. Yeah, look at the camera zip ahead. That's a woman out here looking for you. <laughs> <laughs> the Dayton game. Speaking of the Dayton game, look at him. Well, that was really something. I mean, it's pretty obvious who came out the winners there. That was the 80 car of Mark Duane and the 25 of Zane Baird. Now, if any of you watch TNN on a regular basis, remember the ASA driver, Bill Baird? That's his kid, Zane. And they call him, if you couldn't tell by the way he drives, Zane Insane. You know, I was wondering about that. I, I was what? That, well, no, I know Bill Baird <laughs> from the ASA <laughs> stuff, and, and I was looking at this and going, Zane Baird. But Zane hasn't spent a whole lot of time around the ASA tracks, and there's only one Baird out of Sturgis, Kentucky, that I know of. Well, if he drives like his daddy, he could be a winner in our feature here tonight. Of course, Bill Baird now running on the Arca Tour as well. Stay with us. We'll be back for more madness. <laughs> Palmolive Dean, along with my buddies in the booth, Dusty Rhodes, the American Dream, and Dan Pastorini's. We're getting set to go with more racing action here in Orlando. We've been smashing and bashing and crashing and having a big time. But we need to talk some more about what's going on down on the top. Well, we got uh, the shootout number four was won just a little while ago by Dick Denoncourt. That's almost like a French name, but Dick, I got to tell you, you got one of the biggest cars out there. And you hit the lady awfully hard. What's up with that? That was a lady? I didn't know that. You couldn't tell from the car? No, I couldn't. Oh, maybe that on the front made it made a reminding me of something, but I didn't know that was a lady. Yeah, and uh, I sure he just takes it like any other guy down there. Now Zane, insane Zane, he's running around here like crazy, Zane. We know now that you are of the Baird family. That's right. Now, are you as crazy as your dad? I, I might be. I don't know. Heck, he's going to come down here next week, and I wish the best luck to him at Daytona, and I'm going to try to turn somebody over in that feature. Now, you don't look like you got too much uh, hitting on your car there. Is it intact? I, we're just going to go back here and cut a few fenders, and we'll be all right. Uh, Ralph, now that you know that this is uh, Bill's kid, does that sound like a Sturgis, Kentucky accent? Oh, yeah, Dave. That definitely sounds like a Sturgis, Kentucky oh. accent. And, and what I know, Bill Baird, he's a crazy man behind the wheel, so we can expect almost anything from Zane. Well, that means it's time for more racing, Dream. How's that sound to you? Let's do it. Oh, look at this. Number Shootout number seven. It's supposed to be six, but that's the great thing about madness, Pastorini. We do what we want. You just wing your way through it. Number two, Mervyn Yantis. And number 15, Waylon Flynn. Rick Callahan and Mike McCarty. They call him Bone Crusher, number 33. Yeah, and Chuck Rush, Bone Crusher. I've been waiting all night to see him get out here the and do it to it. The Junkyard Dog. Yeah. Yeah, we, we got, got Junkyard Dog and Bone, Bone Crusher. Crusher in the same heat. And these guys This is going to be interesting, boys. Other, Let me they? tell you, this is going to be dog eat dog here. These guys, folks, hate each other. And they are here to beat up on each other big time. Yeah, here we go. We have somebody go ahead. There they go. They got it wound up now. Oh, boy, you got to hear that one. That was Bone Crusher. There's a junkyard dog. You see him, the six car with the dog painted on the side. Now, Bone Crusher in the black car, you'll see him. There you see the 33. He's got a big dog bone taped to the hood, Dream. Yeah, I'm going to tell you what. There's some bad blood running down there. I was in the pits earlier when I gave my State of the Nation address down there. Everybody was excited right there. But these two old boys right here were looking for each other with evil intentions on their face. The driver, the crash test dummy there, he's a drag racer when he's not demoing. That's a pro comp car.
lot of drag racers are uh, in this sport. I think when they run out of money drag racing, they come and do this. Maybe I got a future in this. Who knows? <laughs> I'm going to tell you why. I'm out of money. Dante, Dante was a good drag, drag racer. racer. And yeah. I'm an old, a real old drag racer. <laughs> Now, we had a funny story today between uh, Junkyard Dog number 6 and Mike McCarty number 33. It appeared when they were coming here today, or earlier in the day, uh, Junkyard Dog was broke down with a broken axle on the side of the freeway, and uh, Bone Crusher just kind of waved and went by and didn't help him out. <laughs> so there's a little yeah, rivalry there. We're under two minutes now. Yeah, that's what I said. They got that bad intentions right there, and they're really cutting it up out there. Look at him, boy. I'm going to tell you what. He hit anything that's standing still. Now, the other thing to remember is that Junkyard Dog taught the Bone Crusher everything he knows about that's demo right. derby to get him started. And Bone Crusher beat him in every race they competed in last year. So let's see. Here they are. Heads up tonight. Bone Crusher looks like he's stuck. It might be the end of him. Yeah, he's there. It's over. Yeah. I, mean, he, I bet he's, he's waving at him. I bet he's waving at him down there, Dream. Yeah, he's sitting on empty right there. You see that big old Lincoln come up there and that Cadillac's out there? There are people moving around and doing some damage, but I guarantee it, the junkyard dog is ruling the roof. The baddest dog in the pound. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Yeah, that's bad. Well, I bet you Bone Crusher's thankful he didn't take that bet with Junkyard Dog earlier today when he said the winner of this heat will shave his head. No, 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 that was you, Pastor. No, that was him. That was him. Was him. I was just trying to instigate it a little bit. I thought it'd be a great idea. You instigating? I can't believe it. I would I'm never shocked. do that. You know. Oh, oh, there's a man. good one. Number 15, Wayne yeah. Flynn. He might have got his two. In there, North Carolina, a student. Peace. He oh, nailed it. Man. The dog is dead. Yeah, he got it too. Look I'm, at Waylon. I'm Look at Waylon. Bone Crusher and the dog might not go on. That was a good one. Boy, yeah, he's just dead in the water, sitting right there, dead in the water. Well, he's got his radiator up uh, into his carburetor, I think. Junkyard and Bone Crusher might be done. And he's not done with it. No. He's still moving. Big old 75 there. What is that? 17, 75? Oh, 15. That's Waylon Flynn. 15. I'm blind in the back. Just stop taking your feet at. How okay. did I get 17 out of 15? I'm blind in one eye and can't see out of the other, so. <laughs> Here we go. It's over. Oh, that was... I, don't, I don't think Junkyard or Bone Crusher no. going on. That was think... a good one. I think they beat up on each other too much. Let's look at some replays here. Here it comes again. Bone Crusher and Junkyard. Bone Crusher got the party started uh, coming all the way across the track and introducing himself. There's 15, Waylon Flynn. He's hitting Callahan there. Well, look at this hit coming up here. I mean, that Waylon is Flynn, that Lincoln. Yeah, right here. Here look it is. is. Yeah. That put him down. Smashing in style, Dave Burns with a Lincoln. Well, you know, it is such good competition out here tonight that Dutch Holland has actually taken the opportunity to choose three transfers to tonight's final. Here they are. It will be the 15 car, uh, which was Waylon. You already saw him out here. It's the six car. I'm on the wrong page. You guys got that six and seven thing messing me up. Waylon Flynn, the six car of Chuck Rush, the junkyard dog, did make it in. And the 27 of Rick Callahan is also going to transfer the dragster driver, Ralph. And his car, which his older car, which was a Vega, was actually in a movie one time right out here. So he's a movie star as well. Maybe we'll talk to him. Well, wow, that's pretty interesting that, that Dutch, of course, being the demolition determinator dream, allows you to do whatever you want, no matter what rules we lay down. Dutch is the final say. And, and yeah, and they know it too. And old Dutch, when we talked to him earlier, we seen him at once to Salem. He lays down the law and there ain't no going to the NFL or the reprieve, you know what I mean? Let's go to the committee and find out. He lays it down, like it or not, get out of here and get the next ones out of here. It's kind of like instant replay. You get a final look at it. That's right. Well, Dutch has made the call. Junkyard dog goes on. He'll be howling in the final dream. Yes. Mocking. Year's Intergalactic Crunch Off will not only feature the top three finishers from our Telefy's Motor Madness programs, but it will also feature champs from other demolition derby circuits across the U.S., Canada, and around the world. Dozens of North America's top demo derby promoters are cooperating to make this the most spectacular event in the history of derbies. Now, here's just a partial list of the promoters who will be sending qualified champs to the Intergalactic Crunch Off. So jot these numbers down and be sure to make your plans to be part of the Intergalactic Crunch Off 2, the most prestigious demo derby event in the galaxy on October 30th. Wow, what a 
an exciting night we're having here at the Speed World in Orlando. Some of the best demo derming I think I've ever seen, Dan. Without a doubt. There's been a lot of action tonight, and this new format seems to be taking off very well. It really is working now. We have had two different rounds of shootouts. And here are the guys that have qualified out of the last round of shootouts. Number 12, Dick Denonacur. Number 28, Mark Canada. 25, Zane Baird. 80, Mark Duane. 6, Chuck Rush, the junkyard dog. But wait, there's more. Number 15, Waylon Flynn. And number 27, Rick Callahan. Well, I really like Zane Baird. Yeah, I do too. You know, after, after seeing him really get after it, it was so exciting. The new format, the way it's set up with the gladiators and, and the two arenas and everything. Yeah, I, I really believe Zipper Man might be there. You know what I'm talking about? Zipper Head, right? Zipper Head. That's the difference. <laughs> Zipper Man and Zipper Head. So the Zipper Head might be there at the end. Dave Burns? I'm not standing by with Zipper Head. I'm standing by with Waylon Flynn. Waylon is one of the winners from last heat, but he didn't get a very fast start. Remember, he was stalled over in the corner. Waylon, what happened? Well, I settled on the gas, and it just didn't go nowhere. It shut off on me, so got a little nervous. Yeah, is that, now, is that a tuning problem? Is that something you can take care of? I have no idea. <laughs> Let Grandpa work on it. Yeah, Grandpa drove it away. He's getting it ready for the next one, and Waylon is going to be back in that big old Lincoln. Well, that just means uh, maybe another potential problem for one of the competitors here. Yeah. He is. Long haul, long haul, 16 yeah. down Ben Kraft. He's done. Ben Kraft, school bus driver. School bus drivers haven't had much luck tonight. No. That might be a good thing. I'll tell you what. <laughs> yeah. 17 and 16 are still headed for 87 back in the freight. In the Frankens. He's back in the Frankens. Ed Riblet, that 17, trying to make something happen. The welder out of Dave oh, City, Florida. He drug, half, he drug the tires out there from the tire wall. He's, he's still got them under the curb. Look at that. Yeah, if he can get a loose from him, he'd be all right. He's leaving a trail. There it is. The checkered flag. Wow, oh, she wrote, baby. There were basically three cars still moving, so it's going to be up to Dutch as to which two go on. Here's some replays. Let's take a look at this from the beginning with the horn sound. Little bashful. Number 49 there. That's Dean St. Clair. Mechanic from Orlando, Florida, number 87. You know that? Chris that, Forecast. Wow. I'll man. tell you what, Dan, th this new format has really got to be interesting on the psyche of these guys because you're sitting there waiting for that horn and you know impact is coming. That's right. You know, and it's hard to play cat and mouse. There's no way you're going to play possum here. You can, you got to get in the action or you're dead. So if you're afraid of getting hit, Dave Burns, this is not the form of demo derby you want to be a part of. Absolutely not. And the only thing we really kind of need to get a handle on maybe, and I'll ask the demolition determinator, Dutch Holland, about that, is hitting that bullseye, ground zero on the first hit. Any way we can get him to hit that harder? Well, it's kind of gone right now, Dave. It's, uh, they can't even find the bullseye out there now. So it's a vision thing, guys. Now, the ones who are going to move on from this heat, it is going to be the 87 of Chris Borkowski and the 17, is that right, Dutch? 17. The 17 of Ed Riblet. They're going on. All right. So the 87 and the 17 are going on. All right. Well, Here we, we go to number eight. Go. Here they come. Kenny Hankins and Ed Bowman, the 30 and the 5, will be in shootout number eight. Number 31, Jason Lee, Ember Plus, and 34, Randall Mager. Number 35, Jody Harrell. Melbourne, Florida, mechanic yeah. here. Another mechanic. Let's do this, guys. This is the moment I was talking about, Dream. Right here, you're waiting. You know that horn's about to blow, and you're going to be hitting somebody right in the middle of the arena, and there's no way around it this time. How do you prepare yourself for that big yeah. hit? Here it comes. And you only got three minutes to get it done. Number 34, Randall Mager, kissing me. Oh, oh, AC Technic. Jody Harrell, the yeah. 35 is a big hit, the blue car. Jody Harrell, come on and got some of it. Number five, Ed Bowman getting into it. Number five, Ed Bowman from Milford, Ohio. Body got, shot, here's our in-car camera. Yeah, and he's about to take us on a wild ride, is Ed Bowman. I'm going to tell you what, oh, oh. Yeah, just what he was thinking about it, he thought too long. Oh, Magic is going on Gladiators in field rail automobiles getting it done right here. All the way from Ohio. Came a thousand plus miles just to hit somebody. 
way to get some shots in here like he's getting in might be worth that trip. Well, if you're going to come that far, you better come to win. You come to play. When the whistle blows, you got to go into the ball game to win it. That's what it's all about. That's why each and every one of these guys are out here, right, Dante? You know, number 30, that's, he's 14 years old. Did you know that? Ken yeah. Hankins is 14 years old. He's a student here at Lakeland, Florida. Oh, he's not even old enough to drive. No, he's he out got, there slamming people in a the car. There, he's slamming pretty good. Yeah, I Ooh. met him earlier. What a good kid he is. I guarantee it. Number 31, Jason Eberfluss from he, Estatula, Florida. Yeah. He's a gutter man. He's got plunder hanging all off that he, car. His car looks like it belongs in the gutter right now. Yeah. It won't even run straight one oh. down. Number five, Ed Bowman. Good shot. Good yeah. shot. Here he comes. Here he comes. Wind it up, baby. No quitting him. No, if he hits somebody just right, he might knock all that stuff back together. You know what I mean? Get him back in the hunt. You're right. <laughs> Getting close to one minute to go now. Well, this is where it gets serious, too. When you know there's just a minute left in the game, Dan, that's yes, where you really got to turn it on. Oh, good shot. Pretty good shot right there, guys. Whoa. Good shot for race car camera, Randall Mager. Boy, he's doing a good job. He looks strong right here, guys. This guy really looks strong right here. Ed Bowman. Ed Bowman. Getting after it. Body shop on him. That helps in this sport. That would help. Show yeah. Body shop. Good hurt. Boy, he's digging up Jody Harrell. He's still fighting away there. He's playing a good game there. Melbourne, Florida mechanic. One of the big keys here with 30 seconds to go is staying off of those tires. Boy, you don't want to get hung up on those. No, and I'll tell you what, he is really being aggressive. Oh, maybe more aggressive than anybody we've seen tonight. Number five right there, Eddie Bowman. Go ahead and hit him, too. Don't be bashful. Don't be bashful. No, you don't want to be sitting out in the middle there. Put the hurt on... Uh, Jody Harrell here. Oh, 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 man. There's our student. Winding it down, Eddie boy. Higgins. Boy, I'd hate good to be that. Shot. That's it. That's it. it. Oh, oh, yeah. Now, yeah. good job, Eddie Bowman. How'd you like to be the driving school instructor for that 14-year-old when he gets ready to get his license? Oh, I'm going to tell you what. <laughs> yeah. Hang on, hey. Mr. Jones. I'm going to parallel park this thing. I can't, I can't do it. <laughs> Here's the replay. There we see number, number five, Ed Bowman. 31. Well, Ed Bowman got in all our highlights this time. He's putting a hurt on number 35 there, Jody yes, Harrell. Harrell. Ooh, 21, 31. He's a good hit. Jason Everplus. Jason Everplus. Our gutter man. Oh, well, let's go check in with Dave Burns now. We do have winners, and as you might have suspected, Ed Bowman is one of those. That car was stout, so was Ed's driving. And the other one, Jody Harrell in the blue 35. Now, pay attention to the next shootout, because you're going to see two more blue cars, the number 36 and the 37. The three of them, they're the Blues Brothers. Well, we'll get those guys lined up back out here and ready to go racing in the next one when they come back for the main event. we got plenty more coming away from the Orlando Speed World. Don't you leave us. Orlando, Florida. We're having a great time with a new format and all kinds of gladiators and competitors to give you a great motor madness show here on a Friday night. Standing by a heat winner, one of the winners from earlier, Chris Borkowski. And Chris, you came a long way. Earlier today, you told me, I'm not sure if it's worth it because we got all this TV to do, but you did a great job. You're in the finals. How do you feel? Not too bad, I guess. Is it worth it? Uh, kind of. <laughs> kind of. Heats are too short. Ah, he wants to do some more smashing. Ed Hoffman did a whole lot of smashing in his number five car. He's from the north as well. Ed, how did that one feel? You, you ran it hard. I came to slam, and I'm going to slam more. And that'll be the final coming up. That is Ed, and he'll be back as well as Chris. And guys, we got to go racing again. That's right, David. We sure do. So let's move right on to shootout number nine. We got room for at least two more cars. And here is our grid. For shootout number nine from the Orlando Speed World, number 36, Ray Potter. Number 37, Bobby Paycheck. And number 43, Paul Futrell. Number 44, Donald Froze. And number 48, Daryl Stevens. Getting ready to do it to it. Motor Madness. Boy, this is great. It's going to be some bay, and we're getting down to it now, guys. One of the tricks of this deal, Dan, is these guys get set to go now that the horn is blown. we got three minutes to go is to pump a bunch of ice into the radiator just before you get this thing started. That's Whoa. right. Wow, what a nice hit that was right off the get-go. That's something growing out of the... That was 48, Daryl Stevens from yeah. Vero Beach, Florida. Works at Lowe's Home Improvement. 
Number 40, what is that, 48 oh, there? Yeah. That's Darryl Lair right there. Big old heavy car right there, too. Big cars. Big cars are doing well tonight. Yeah. Green. Uh, number 44 got something growing out the top of its, uh, of its roof right there. Something symbolic. Look Looks like a like dragon. A dragon. He's the dragon slayer. That must be the dragon slayer. The That's dragon right. slayer tonight. Yeah. He's done no better than a second. He's looking to improve on that. Maybe that'll turn it around for the man nicknamed Buster. 37 there is Bobby Paycheck from Melbourne, Florida. Mechanic from Melbourne, Florida. Another mechanic. But that ice in the radiator, Dan, tries to help keep that radiator cool, helps these engines last a little longer. Yeah, that's a pretty smart little move. You know, I don't think it's uh, that much of a difference, though, in these shorter heats. When they have a, a longer heat, it might make a big difference, but that was one of the tricks we learned about today when we visited them in the pits. Yeah. The, yeah, this just goes out and gets them. I guarantee there's a lot of looking. Even in a hike going on out here. 30, 37 running around looking for somebody. Ain't hit nobody yet. Well, Green, we talked earlier about how white walls is a uh, key to speed. Obviously, gold walls is no good. The 43 of Paul Futrell, no. dead in the mud. No, definitely not. Yeah, 37 right here. 48 still trying to hit somebody, but nobody want to play with it. 43, 43 Paul dead. Futrell. He's yep, done. He's done. Dental lab technician. What? He must have got his teeth rattled. There you go. Oh, yeah. Good hit there. Yeah. 48. Yeah. Daryl Stevens, 37. Bobby Paycheck. Yeah, they want to come back and hit him. He needs to get a good run at him right here. Now, 37, go back up and go get him. All right, now 48, pull it back in. Let's Oops. go. Let's we might have a real end up here comes right one. here. Here comes one. Oh, boy. That's the kind of hit Evans would love to see. Yes. Yeah, Steve's not here, but Steve, I know if he's watching, he just loved that one. Oh, man, I, I guarantee you. What a, what a nice move that was. Going to get him right here, maybe. We got a little shadow boxing going on yeah. here. Yeah. You know, I talked I talk to guys back there in the in the pits today, and a lot of them said, I'm just going to put my foot on the floor because of the three-minute deal, you know what I mean, and go as hard as I can. And then some guys are, are a little tentatively uh, going after Right here, they just, they're doing a little dance here. A little swan yeah. dance. There we yeah, go. This, well, 27 like seconds left here. Yeah. Synchronized some demo banging, derby. fellas. Yeah, you know, there's you know the other thing, when you know Donald there's only Rose. two cars left, though, guys, you might want to be He's a out. little bit uh, little bit more defensive and set up for glancing blows so you yeah. come back strong for the final. Well, I guarantee you, they need to make a hit right here. This ain't going to set too well with a fan at home. They want to see somebody hit somebody. He's about got to be chasing him around there. You know, one thing I noticed is it's winding down now. Now, who would you pick out of this? Well, I'll tell you what else, though. Now, who you know, would you pick? Dutch might tell you you're not going. He there. is the devil. Well, that's determined. He can do whatever he wants. Dutch. Tell him no, Dutch. Yeah. If you didn't hit enough, he might tell you to go home. You never know with Dutch home. Well, I guess it. Here we go. The start of the, the, the heat here. Number yeah. 48, 37, 36, all congregating there nicely. Yeah, they got a little hit right off the bat here. This is a nice move right that's, here. That's a good one there. But then it was a cat and mouse game as we eased into the final few Bobby seconds of this, of this thing. They, they might have got their hitting done early. Yeah, but you can't let up when Dutch Holland is watching. No. He'll, he'll wave a flag at you in a hurry. That's another another call with something on the top that didn't make it in the end. Well, Dave Burns, did they hit hard enough to make Dutch's approval? Well, we think so, but Dutch, what is your call here? Are you going to take two or are you going to take more this time? No, I'm going to take more this time because uh, 48 was kind of dragging until right to the very end. And so they, they put him in the top three. But I'm pulling 36 and 37 because they were way up in points to begin with. Okay, that's two more of the Blues Brothers guys, Ray Potter and Bobby Paycheck, along with the 48 of Daryl Stevens. They're all going. Wow. That's a whole, you know, that's really interesting. And that, again, reiterates what Dutch Holland is all about. He can do whatever he wants to do, Dan. As Mel Brooks once said, it's good to be the king. <laughs> it yeah. is good to be king and to be the wow. demolition determining. It's for 49 cents. A he didn't look familiar to me. Maybe, maybe it's a friend of theirs or something. Uh, Dave, I don't know if you were able to see that down there or not, but what do you got for us? Did not get a look at that at all, but what I did get a look at is the Blues Brothers. Dan Aykroyd, John Belushi, I don't think so. Bobby Paycheck, and he's the spokesperson now. Bobby, but what... What about the blue color? Where, where did that come from? I mean, is this like some thing you've got a, a magic secret potion for running the blue? Well, no, we work for Richard's Paint Manufacturer, and they get, donated paint to us, and it was blue. <laughs> free. It was a freebie, guys. That's why we ended up with the blue paint. So, I don't know. I guess if they'd had red or something like that, it, it wouldn't have made any difference whatsoever. So, I don't know. 
I don't know. Anyway, Bobby Paycheck and the Blues Brothers, they're going on. You got all three of them. They're going to make the final between the last heat and this one. Well, that's pretty much why you're wearing a purple hat, isn't it, Dream? Because it's free. No, 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 no. This, you just uh, like purple? This, yeah, I love purple and I love... Would go there. I've been there. <laughs> DW, I hope you haven't been there. The Chat and Chew, Daryl. Oh. Orlando, the Tasmanian Devil, and a bunch of our good friends here in Orlando have been enjoying some great demo derby action here at the Orlando Speed World as Motor Madness is bringing you your racing fix on another Friday night. Live from Florida. Now, here's our shootout 10, Daryl Taylor, and a mystery guy named Ralph Murphy. All the Ralph guys, you never see our pictures in here. Uh, Ralph, you know, they're dime a dozen. Number 61, Rick Hammonds. Number 76, Paul Stevens. And, and rounding out the field, number four, Seven, Melissa Davis, my little sweetie right here, getting ready to do it to it. Let's say she'll get after it, guys. I know. No doubt about it. We're racing. Oh, there, that was ground yeah. zero. That's the way it's we supposed to be. We finally found it. Yeah, and, it, and, that, and they were all there. Number 61, Rick Hammonds there from Cocoa, Florida. Another Whoa. mechanic. Nice shot, 76. Paul Stevens out of Fort McCoy, Florida. Unemployed. He's what? He's what? Dante. He's what? Un unemployed. Unemployed. Been there, done it. <laughs> Whoa. He's what is that? He could have a career doing this. Number 61, Rick Hammonds again. Backing up for a fresh poke here. There's number 90, Ralph Murchie, Clearwater, Florida. Our mystery Tow truck man. driver. He's our mystery man. Yeah, look at old 40 here, man. He's got it all. He's got yellow wheels. He painted his, he spray painted his wheels yellow. Those are Ram yellow. colors, aren't they? Yellow wheels. Tammy oh, Stevens. That's put him in that's Tammy. Not, that's not Tammy. Tammy's not there. <laughs> no, but that was a good picture of our Tammy. Great, great picture of Tammy. Yeah, that was a nice picture of well, Tammy. Tammy should be there. Tammy should it's be madness. there. She can do whatever you want. There, there you right. go. Stick up any picture. Melissa Davis, our 47 car there, Longwood, Florida. You know what? She looked like she's uh, losing she's, a little water or something. She's having a problem. She didn't mind that to put that ice there, Dr. Like, like, like Ralph Keene said, to put in there. She needs the North Pole in there right now. She needs big cubes. That's 76 still looking good. 76, Paul Stevens, Fort McCoy, Florida. Our unemployed driver. Well, we saw that gold-painted wheels were no good, but red, white, and blue might not be so bad. Well, yeah, look over here. About the double O. Yeah, double zero has got his all whacked out there. That's the actual save on hubcaps. You paint them on. <laughs> There's Melissa. She's in the 47 car. She's going to come back out here in a little while and go for that world record mattress smash. I hope she doesn't use that car in the mattress smash, though. She'll tear up some mattresses of that. She's going to go very far. 90 Ralph McMurchy, our tow truck driver. He's our mystery guy. Yeah. I wonder what he looks like. He's a good looking fella, I bet. Well, he's around. Maybe we can fix I'll... him up with Tammy. Yeah, I'd probably a Sean Carney, Connery look alike. Oh, right? Sean Carney! Sean Carney! You're crazy! That's what you're you look like. You're crazy, Sean Carney! Sean Carney, I've always looked more like Somebody Sean Somebody get Carney. my medicine! <laughs> oh! Dude, somebody bring me my medicine, man. Just my luck, I'd look more like Sean Carney than Sean Connery. Oh! What, what a kiss! What a kiss! Hello, Daryl Taylor! The 76 got restarted, is going again. It's our buddy Paul Double Stevens. zero. Daryl Taylor was in the show last year. His boss is running tonight in the next shootout. So hopefully they'll make it to the final. He's not moving it. though right now, Dante. No. I can guarantee. 76 kind of waited behind another car and then leaped out there. Look at him. Lay them brakes on, come back up and get somebody down. Well, that's a way to lay down some bonus points. Say that your biggest win was finding your wife. That'll get you out of a lot of trouble. <laughs> Good shot, 76, doing a nice job. Oh. There's a horn. There's a horn in the arena. Yeah. Gladiator, drop your stuff. All she wrote. All right. Here's a look at the replay. Had a good hit on the initial impact tonight on this one. Here's the mystery man, the 90. 90. Ralph. Maybe he'll make it to the final. We can figure out what he looks like. Oh, oh we do. 47. That's our girl, Melissa Davis. Hopefully yeah. she'll have some better luck with those mattresses than she did in this. I'll tell, tell you what, though. She put her foot on the floor and went for it, though. That's the main thing. 
She wasn't afraid to go at it, Dave Burns. Will she transfer? Will Melissa Davis move on? She will not. Okay. That will be the 90 car of Ralph Murchie. He was a late entrant with all those great painted tires and everything. Also, the double zero of Daryl Taylor. He'll face his wow. boss, Tim Cordell, if he can make it in the next shootout in the final. Man. All right. I like it. I, I like, like it. I like seeing those Ralphs move on. You're partial to Ralph, guys, aren't you? I am a little partial. Well, that's okay. I can understand that. There aren't many Dantes around, though. No. You know, he's... No. There was only one. Oh, uh, there was only <laughs> yeah. one. Yeah. Uh, well, you know what, Dream? We got another heat to go. I know it. Now, boy, it's exciting. I guarantee you. It's moving along so well. Clean action. This yeah. is going to be shootout number 11. Number Tim Cordell, 11. the 0-3, and Rob Harder will be trying for those two spots out of this one. Number 18, Chuck Roby. 52, Kevin Alexander. And number 81, Jerry Perry. How come you guys get two guys to name and always get one guy to name? We'll give you two next eight, next shootout. How's that? Well, I can't pronounce. I don't see the sheet. I can't pronounce them. Next. Here we go. Ground zero coming up. <laughs> oh, the one wagon has missed them all. He just went right through the whole kit and caboodle there. That's Jerry Perry. Boy, he's trying to get it wound up right here. Oh, Jerry Perry out of Hamilton, Michigan. Number nine, Rob Harder there from Altamont, Illinois. Yeah, and he's just spinning there. Trying. There you go. Look on, look on the top of his car. There's a thing up there. There's a thing on the top of his car. That's the Tasmanian Devil. Oh, oh it's our camera oh, car. Oh, double hitter. He got two with one. Chuck Roby, you're on board with Chuck Roby from LaGrange, Kentucky. He's a doorman. Boy, man. Now these guys are getting down, and they're getting at it right here. This is a group that's not afraid to go at it, are they? No, they're definitely slinging some metal out there. Oh, there's a sandwich, Jeff. Oh, Jerry Perry, that 81, has won championships in five different states. Now, 03, Tim Cordell from Lockhart, Lockhart, Florida. He's uh, he's Daryl Taylor's boss, the guy that just made the uh, the, the last shoot, right. made the final. So I'll tell you what, these guys are hitting better than anybody we've seen already tonight. Yeah, what a and we still got the final to go. Yeah, and I will tell you what, this guy with this thing on his hood is still going. What is that car, car camera? Was that car 81 and 18 or car 1881? Number nine doing a good it? job. I got you it. You don't get it? I, well, I got it. I, no, just, I got it. Trying to make to go it. There. Yeah, okay. it was there. Yeah, it was good. It, yeah. I'll get back to you on that one. Thank you. There's Jerry Perry. Watch it. Jerry Perry going for it. In the smoke, in the fire, in the flames. <laughs> Couldn't even see him. He's Ooh. hitting everything. Look, he knocked him right out of the arena. He doesn't care. Uh-oh, but I'll tell you, oh, you got to be careful of those tires over there, Jerry. He got loose. He got loose. You know what? Yeah. He get hung up. These guys are in bad position right here for number 81. Number nine, Rob Harder there. 18, yeah. Chuck Roby. Wild Jerry Perry man. is definitely the Tasmanian devil out there. Yeah, he's got his feel of hanging on his hood, but guys with animals on their hood and human beings, they've done real well today. Oh, 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 man. That was a good one. Yeah, yeah. you need to call a law. That's a Maalox crutch Look there. at the right front on old Jerry Perry. These guys really got... They got what they came for. That was to hit somebody. Smack somebody, Jerry. Hit somebody. He's not bad. He'll take them on the front end, the back end. He doesn't care. Jerry's leaking all kinds of fluids, and he doesn't care. Man. You know, when we started this thing, wasn't there some asphalt out there in the middle of that track somewhere? Uh, they tore it up. They tore oh, the asphalt up. I guarantee it. Look at him. They're still going here. Four of them. There's 03. Tim Cordell. Well, I don't know this how you call. Tough call. Here we go. We're, yeah. That's I it. Don't know how you call it. I let them all go. That, that, that was the good one. That was the best one. That was well, good. That was good. Oh, he's still fight, punching after the bell. We'll see what our demolition determinator thinks about this one. How's Dutch Holland going to read it? Man. It was there good. Go. Chuck Roby. Or number nine, on. Rob Harder there. Here's our onboard camera. Good hit there. Jerry Perry, oh, the 81. Look at that. That's the Maalox crunch there. I like that one. That's a nice call. Good shot. Picked him right up. 
Dave Burns, how do you do this one? They uh, actually, they had a pretty good idea of it, guys. They came right out and said it was the 81 of Jerry Perry and the 03 of Tim Cordell. We'll see the boss and the guy that works for him in the final. All right. Wow. Jerry Perry and Tim Cordell are moving on. We've got one more shootout to go, and then we'll put them all into the main events. There's a shootout number 11. We thought, well, why not waste Let's time? Go. Let's go right to number 12. That's not waste so Here we go. Time. Dream, you start off with the grid here. Oh, all right. Shootout yeah. number 12. Okay. Number 22, Will Snyder, and number 55, Mr. Rick Alexander getting ready to do it. He did those two names pretty good. Kirby Sisk in the 75, another mystery. No Ralph this time. This was just Brandon Pohorin. Yeah, go with it. I knew that. That's, That's a good one. It. Number 21, another mystery guy, Sean Michaels. Such a mystery they didn't make my grid either. Did you get all those names? Yep. Here they go. Here Green they go. They go. Oh, oh nice, nice shot, 55. Good. good. Nice shot. 66 coming down too. He's doing it to it. 22's going hunting. That's Brandon Pahoranek. Will from Snyder. Palm Bay, Florida, mechanic. Number 66, number 55 is Rick Boy, Alexander. They're beating up on him, yeah, aren't they? Yeah, they are. Boy, they tore the bumper right off, plunder laying everywhere out there. Tore it right off of it. That was such a nicely painted car before he started. Oh, oh, oh man. man. That's a shot right there, guys. 75, Brandon Pahoranek. And 75, Kirby Sisk. He like the 66 right out of the arena. Yeah, he's trying to get it wound back up. 75. Oh, Kirby, I was out there talking about hunting with him. Look at it. Green Puff. Not a good Kirby nickname. For, I don't think that's a good name for him. Not a good nickname if you're in demo derbies. No. That's kind of like being named a boy named Sue. Yeah. Not good. No. 22 there. He's having a rough go here. Will Snyder from Newton, Illinois. He's the owner of a radiator repair shop up there. He's got seven feature wins to his belt. That's I tell you what, somebody made him mad, though. Yep. Yeah, he started to kick up a little dirt right there. Somebody got hit mad. Throwing up rooster tails. Whoa! Oh, hello! Oh, yeah! He accordionized him! He accordionized him! That's 75. Right, right. Kirby says. He can't even see where he's going now. No, he can't. He can't. definitely can't see going forward. 66 is back in the game here. That's Brandon Pahor Pahoranek. Another mechanic. Glad you spoke with that name, too. Well, yeah, where'd he go? Where, where's the guy with that can't see? Where's he at? I hear him. He's still running. He's running. Here he comes. 22. Oh. Yeah, there he goes. He's going to end up backing everybody because that's the only way he can see. Yeah, I'll tell you what, you just keep running until you hit somebody. A, a little pain. over a minute to go now. Boy, I'll tell you what, it's getting better and better. Kirby Motor six. Madness, look at him. Kirby I, six. I'll Number tell you 55 what. there, Rick Alexander, construction project manager. Our buddy who is knocked out of the track there, the 75, Kirby Sis. Yes. He's still moving. He just can't get back into the arena because of the 55 blocking his way. I don't think yeah. you can see where he's going either. Yeah, 55 ain't moving. He doesn't even know what's in front of him. He's just backing no. into something. He Look needs, at that. He needs to turn it around and back him out of there. He's trying to get back in to go play. Well, he's almost there. One more push. He's got 30 seconds. Go ahead and give him a big push. One more. Come on, Kirby. 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 Don't turn into oh, the no, no, road. No. Kirby, back up, back up, back up. He just doesn't know what's in front of him. Kirby! No. I don't think he's going to make it. Oh, now it's spinning the tire. Man, 55 ain't moving either. Ten seconds to go. Oh, wow, what a shot. 66, Brandon Baharnik, and, tw and 22, Will Snyder. Will Snyder. Oh, Snyder's doing oh, a great he, job. Just, he just knocked. Wow, that's... Knock wow. 66 over. That's it. That was great, man. That's it. They love yeah. it here, too. That is it for the shootouts. 12 of them lined up. 12 of them are done. Our last two transfers coming out of this one. Who will it be? But look at the hits. Boy, there were some big ones here, too. Kirby, Kirby Sisk and uh, Brandon Pahornick didn't, didn't waste any time getting started. There's Brandon's car toward the end of the race here that's kind of smashed out. That's where he got knocked out. We couldn't get back in by the 55. And this was him in better days right here. Yeah. So he was young and fresh. Yeah. What? Well, Dave Burns, what do you think? Well, those last two great hits that we saw certainly were a part of it. 
I'm going to hold on that for just a second. Dutch, I want to ask you, Dusty Rhodes and I have been having this big debate about little cars and big cars. Have you been watching more big hits tonight or agility and flying around this arena? They've been flying around this arena. They're all doing a wonderful job. I mean, the big cars, little cars, they're really tearing them up bad tonight. Honestly, Dusty, I didn't set him up for that, but he says the agility is the thing. Now, the 22 of Will Snyder and the 66 of Brandon Pohoranek, they're going on. And we're also going to put in number 75. He did a great job going for an alternate. All right, stand by. The 75 of Kirby Sisk is also an alternate. Wow. Yeah, he, he can do whatever he wants. You know well, I mean? there's our winner circle where all of tonight's competitors are hoping to be. And there's a lot at stake besides the cash and bragging rights for these demo derby drivers. The top three drivers will also receive very valuable gift certificates from our friends at Crane Technologies and Jet Hot Coatings. I know the drivers are thrilled to have the support of these two powerful names in the performance industry, Dan. Absolutely. It, uh, it's great to have them uh, support these guys. Uh, the Orlando Speed World, where we're getting into our second demolition derby of the 1998 racing season. To hear the next names that have moved on to our final event, which will be coming up here momentarily. The number 90, Ralph Murchie. Number uh, 00, Daryl Taylor. Number 81, Jerry Perry. 03, Tim Cordell. 22, Will Snyder. And more, 66, Brandon Pohoranek. 75, Kirby Sisk. I think we finally got Brandon's name right. I hope so. Nice job, Dan. <laughs> Well, you know, we've seen some pretty weird take pieces here tonight, and uh, we've got more. We saw yeah. Jay Claude Dancer earlier. Yeah, and Winston Salem. Yeah. Uh, okay. you, both, both you guys know her. Okay. I thought you looked familiar. Here we go. Now, the moment has come. I wonder, if the Davis. Single, I wonder if the single beds are easier to get through than the California Kings. Okay, second Well, she's going to have to go faster than that, isn't she? I, don't, I guess. I hope so. She's doing a pretty good job. They don't seem to be stacking up too much in front. She's got a little problem there. Big problem. Okay, well, how many? What is the world record? Do we know? I don't know. Well, she's got a bunch of them stacked up in front. Got one there, got one there, got one there. There you go. There you go, girl. Get up to the speed. There you go. Yeah. Yeah, she's a ripping up mattresses here. There we go. Yeah. Is that like taking a double breath when you're blowing out no, your birthday no. candles? Oh, my oh. God. I can't believe she did that. Hey. Wow, man. Did you see that? Melissa Davis just went through all those matches, and she set that record. That girl is a world-setting, fabulous. Do you want that car now? Girl, I want that car. What you bet, baby? Car, I'm going for the show. Yeah. Now there's two families in yeah. after setting mattress deal. Yeah, exactly. Right here on the madness. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Look at this. Get out of my way. Hey, are, we, are we talking to her? Uh, she tore through that last segment pretty good. She was a little timid in this first group, though. <laughs> and they all stacked up. Yeah. She's loving that, best ring. Yeah, she figured out how to do it then. <laughs> you like this, don't you, Dante? My bottom's off. I, tell you this, I love it. I mean, you just set a world. Did you set the world record? As far as I know, I did. I think so. I hope so. Girlfriend, you are a testament to what women can do. Do you know that? That's right. We can do everything, baby. Yes. 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 That's right. You are so right. Well, as we've widened the field up, made it twice as big, put all of our main event qualifiers into the middle the ring, and we're set to go with our final event. Here is the lineup. On the left side of your screen, Whaley and Apt, Huggins and Benishik. Well, there's a lot of big names in this one. I like old Zane Baird down there in the 25 car. We got uh, Rush, Flynn, 15, 27, Callahan, 87, Borkowski, 17, Riblet, 5, Bowman. There's a whole bunch. Boy, there's a lot of good names. Ralph Murchie in this one in the 90. Oh, uh, this is going to be good. How about Perry in the 81? Yeah. You like him? I like him and I like Bowman, too, so it's going to be good. Bowman in number five. Keep your eye out for him. For Hornick. I'm Keep an eye out on him. He did a good job in that last shootout. Here well, we go. If this main event this is anything like the shootouts, it should be pretty wild. They're clearing all the people off the track as we get set to go. The green is waiting. Everybody get flow. back now. Now comes the back. Gotta let it all rip here. Yeah, I'll tell you what, we just started here, but I'm still thinking about that tape. There was something familiar about it, but I feel real uneasy about it. There's a lot of lot of stones left unturned right now as they start a banging right here in the final. No 
some of the people getting off to a bit 84, of a 84, Kevin start. Huggins there. Ninety, oh, Ralph Mutt. Man. Eighty-four. Oh, oh no. man, Junkyard Dog got picked up. Who I D. Rush got picked up he and did. sent right into him. Yeah, and he. Well, I'll tell you what, guys. He really went up the air. He got airborne. You know what that's all about, Green? Picking that guy up, throwing him oh, down. Oh yeah. He, can't he got slammed right there. Oh, he's back at it. There goes Bowman, though. You got to watch him. Number five. He drove over a thousand miles to hit somebody and he's getting his turns here tonight. I'm gonna tell you what, he'll be in there. I guarantee if he can keep it running. Oh, 25, 25 Zane Baird. Kentucky boys. Oh, Zipperhead. Zipperhead's doing a pretty good job. Uh-oh, the dog sitting still in the middle there, the yellow six car. Yeah. Jerry Perry. Yeah. Jerry Perry. 81, 81. Jerry Perry's 81. Yeah, right, right there he is. 22, Will Snyder. Oh, watch out. Right, that big old Lincoln. Oh, yeah, 83. That, that big old Lincoln out there, that 75, two is the banging. Scott McNamee, 83. Yeah. Is that 81 or 87? That, that's 81. 81. Okay, that's our Jerry Perry. Boy, by the, by the time you hit them a few times, them numbers turn into different numbers. They, they get a little change. Yeah, look at the pile they got going here now. Nobody that getting... car in front of Jerry Perry there. There was the fluid coming out of his radiator. He's not along for this battle. Well, there's a lot of hammering going Man, on. Man, I'll tell you. It's amazing how wow. different... Number five, Ed Bowman. It's amazing yeah. how different this one has gotten since the, the heat we were, were the shootout that we saw earlier. I tell you what, they're stacking them up out there, too. But, guys, that's why they come. That's why they compete. That's what it's all about. Jay Burns Burn. now stuck in the mud. Needs to get out of there. All right. He needs Got to get out of there. The Determinator. What's going on? Who do you like so far? Well, I like them all, Dave. They're doing fantastic. Number 6, 03, 22. They're up on points right now. And, and 75 is just... Get called right back up there with him. All right, so the top three guys, that's the Junkyard Dog, that's Tim Cordell, and also the 22 car. Help me out. He he, he did two great, too. 22, Will Snyder. Yeah, David, he, Will Snyder. He came out of one of the later shootouts, and he did really well. Yeah, 81's still banging over there. You see that's, that? That's Gary Perry, the red and white 81, this green car. That's 87. 87. That's Chris that's Borkowski. Borkowski. We apologize to all the Borkowski friends yeah. out there. I thought... I thought we messed that up a little bit. Sorry about that. Hey, it's madness. Okay, we're mad. Well, it's madness, yeah. And he's there right here. Now, where's the junkyard dog? How's he doing? He's stuck. Boy, he's stuck, stuck in the middle and in a big... He's in the middle of the fight, though. Yeah, he's running, though. He's, he's, got, about it. he's got everything coming out of that car. He's hooked. He just can't get going. Boy, he's going to be frustrated about that. Oh! Yeah, that's the shot. That's, that's Jerry that's Perry right yeah. there. Red, white, and he ran it back. Get it again. Go get it, Jay. Oh, he got clipped. Oh, uh, we got plenty more smashing, bashing, crashing, and more Jerry Perry coming your way. Watch out, Dave. <laughs> we'll be back with more after this. Stay with us. Jerry Perry, will he win it? Where we going? Stay with us to pop. Where we going? Madness, you never know what's gonna happen. And unfortunately, Brothers. with Demo Derby's dream, you can hit, you can hammer, but you just never know when it's gonna end. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, they don't know time limit. When it's over, it's over. When Nobody's they running. running, it's all done. Wow. And they unfortunately start running while we were away. Dave, what do you think? Well, I tell you what, the clipboards have come out and they are still trying to score it here, guys, because right in the middle of all that, as you said, everything sort of broke loose. So the scores are getting together now. The uh, crew members came onto the track because they thought it was done, so they had to end it. And now Dutch Holland is going to try to... They're still scoring it, guys, so... Well, it just all came and to We'll a send it back upstairs halt. and we'll stay tuned for you. Thank you, Dave. It just came to a screeching halt there. And we'll try to figure it out for you. But Jerry Perry was really putting it to him. And we'll find out when we come back to Orlando. 
as frequent. Just getting underway, and that means a lot of news about your favorite drivers and teams. You won't miss a thing when you turn to TNN. Get all the up-to-the-minute highlights, interviews, and more on an hour-long race day. Sunday morning at 11 a.m. Eastern, right here on the leader, TNN Motorsports. Let's take a look at some of the highlights from the feature here tonight. That 81 car, Jerry Perry. Boy, he was a big dog tonight, Dan. Well, Jerry Perry definitely showed Daryl Taylor who was the boss. He is Daryl Taylor's boss in uh, the body shop here, and he had a heck of a heck of a run, a heck of a run in the final. He pounded them all into submission, didn't he, Dream? He sure did, boy, and he didn't take no prisoners at all. Anybody that was a moving, he was going to hit them until nobody was a moving. Right there was about the last shot that happened. 81 taking it home. And Dave Burns, Jerry Perry, to us, looked like the man. He is definitely the man. Jerry hit hard all night long in his heat and also in the final. Jerry, tell us about the ride out there. How was it? Oh, a lot of fun, a lot of fun. Excellent. I'm glad I came. Now, did you concentrate more with hitting with the rear end tonight or the front end, or didn't you care? with too many cars out there. I didn't care. It was balls to the wall. <laughs> uh, as they say, yeah. Now, at the end, you still had a lot of motor left, a lot of car left. Did you go on another 10 minutes? I, don't, I doubt it. It was, it was hot. It was hot. Tune in next time here on Motor Madness because Jerry Perry may be back. Well, Jerry Perry gets the win in that red and white number 81. And here's a look at the top five of how they finished here in Orlando. But we're not done. Stay with us. How much butter does it take for mouth-watering mashed potatoes? Again, the winners, the top five, I should say, including our winner, Jerry Perry, the Florida Free-for-All 2 Big Demo Derby. Steiner, Cordell, the Junkyard Dog guys came home in four. I tell you what, 81 really did a good job, really racked them up. And, and what it was was pure madness at the end. Yeah, well, look at Victory Circle. They're spraying the bubbly down there. That's some happy guys right guys there. Spraying. Let the little guy hold the trophy while the, uh, the older there. guys all spray the champagne. What do you think, Dave Burns? All right, Ralph, I'm going in. We're going up here with the champagne. We're going to talk to Will Snyder. Tim Cordell is actually on my right. He was third, but Will was second. Great job out there. Talk to us about hammering away out there tonight. Oh, it's great. There's a lot of good cars, and everybody was doing a real good job. Now, you were in the last heat. I mean, you had literally no time to prepare for the final. Did you, did you have to fix anything? Oh, we didn't do anything. We just pulled a car off the side of the track, and and just a few minutes later, we had to go back on. But we didn't have too much stuff to wear up. Guess it helps to have a big, heavy car, doesn't it? Yep. We had a good <laughs> car. Yeah, see, Dusty, you were right all along. <laughs> nice call, Drew. Yeah. I tell you, you know that was right. There were two big cars. Them old, them big old caddies out there, them big leaguers were the bopping man. There wasn't a little car left in the race. Man. Well, I think, you know, from what we've seen here tonight and the crowd reaction we've got from some of the fans that have stopped by the booth here tonight, I think this five cars and two yeah, small rings really work. Let, let's like check it. in again with Dave Burr. Well, we're going to stand by here with Tim Cordell, who is the boss. Now, Daryl Taylor was his subordinate. He works for him. Did he hit you at all out there? I think we did meet two or three times. You're not supposed to do that, and you still did well. That's all right. We always hit each other. Now, you usually work with what, the back end of the car or the front end? I usually use the back end of the car, and he uses the front. How much of it did you have to use tonight, the whole thing? A whole smear. Yeah. And Tim Cordell, they'll go back to work on trying to prepare more identical racers to get out here and do another demo derby, guys. Well, remember, oh, gentlemen, boy. what yeah. we're doing, we're working our way towards the big intergalactic coming up in October. And uh, some of these guys here tonight have qualified for that. We'll see some more guys coming out of Mercer in uh, about two weeks. It's, it's really going to be amazing what we get there in, in the end of October. And some of these guys that we're seeing here tonight could be big, big-time contenders when we get there in October. Oh, I guarantee you they will. You know, it seems funny. Tim Cordell just seems like too nice a guy to be in Destruction Derby, doesn't he? Oh, no, absolutely. Awfully yeah. polite gentleman. Yeah, he is. And a lot of them guys, I was, like I said, back there with them, and the, the madness was ru uh, running rampant. And the bottom line with these guys is they came to compete. They, they didn't have a lot of money. They pulled up here. They got some help from some guys. But it's the sporting life of America, way of life that makes this good. You come out, you compete, and you do what needs to be done. And I guarantee you, number 81 is a little happier tonight, Dante. I guarantee you. He's going home with a trophy and the bucks. These are some of the folks that you see coming across the bottom of the screen that have helped us to bring you all this great stuff. Now, we are far from done here in Orlando. Make sure you don't go away. We've got a lot more coming your way. When you've got folks like The Dream and Dave Burns and 
Dan Passerini running and a around. Here. You never know. And a, you get and a couple of paddlers running around, and a, a mystery woman giving us a tape, and seeing Katie Haas actually in a restaurant, and, and and dancer actually getting up and exchanging envelopes, and being a lot stranger than when I talked to him before. I signed on here with TNN and Motor Madness. You don't think she's on the take, do you? Ooh. Katie. I don't know. I'm telling you. I hope not. I don't know. Let's see, uh, let's see what Dave's doing. Is Dave there? Oh, you no. know, Insane Zane wasn't quite crazy enough to pull it off tonight, guys. Zane Bear, what broke in the 25 car that put you out? Yeah, um, I had something, I heard something in the rear end shaking real bad on me, and, and I made about four or five good licks. I was trying to get them points as soon as impossible, and, and my axle broke out of the rear end. I guess I sidestrike somebody or something, but, um, we bet the next derby and we'd be ready to get them again. So the car wasn't ready to go any further tonight, but you were? Yeah, I was ready to go. I was out to win this one, but we'll try to get the next one. We're going to try to hit um, uh, Woodstock, Georgia again if we can. So we're going to go home, work on car, and get it ready for the next one. And we see y'all in Georgia. And I think you guys pointed out earlier, Zane attends about 30 per year. So he's got, by my guess, I got about it. 29 okay. more. You know, th th this night really kind of kicked off nutty. We've seen a lot of new things, a lot of different things, a lot of twists and turns to the show tonight. We, we start off, we get two panelists. But I do know for an absolute fact that we had some really killer demolition derby. Some guys that were slamming, bamming, crashing, ripping sheet metal off of fenders and frames. It was great if you're a fan of demo derby. This new five cars in a small arena, that's hot. I'll buy that. What happens next, I can't begin to tell you. Stay tuned to find out. Radio communication.